added some fuel to it and it still had knock retard. So we're going to give it a go again and just see how it acts. Ready? Boostane helps with short-term knock retard, which is, in essence, what ends up killing your engine. So, let's go back and take a look at that hit. And did it help? It may have. I added about three ounces to what is, in essence, seven gallons, six gallons of fuel. Yeah, and it looked like it helped. So if you guys are wondering about Boostane and does it work, does it help? Um, where Boostane does a really good job, and I would never suggest tuning for Boostane. I don't think that's the best idea. But where I do believe that it helps is when you have questionable fuel quality, especially during the wintertime, because guys, you gotta remember, when fuel quality changes, Usually during the winter time, it's not quite as good as like summer, spring, or fall. Not to mention the vehicle is gonna have a higher fuel demand anyway because it's cooler, it's making more power. So that is going to significantly alter how the car responds to fuel quality in general. So to give you guys an idea on the initial hit, which is not uncommon, it had a little bit of short-term knock retard. That's usually just noise from a roll, but from there, I had absolutely no short-term knock retard through the balance of the load test. Whereas before, I was getting some short-term knock retard, albeit with a slightly lower density altitude, but not by so much that it should really make a difference. I'm talking maybe another hundred or. 140 feet ish lower density altitude but again in these conditions shouldn't be enough to make a difference ambient temperature right now is about 61 ambient temperature last night was about 51 55 right in there so not a monster of a difference but yep and for just three ounces worth of boost stain i mean there's really nothing to it the car is safer and, and that's what i want to see and again i would never tune around this and this is why I do so much data logging is because I want to see what type of what type of knock resistance the fuel that I have available to me is offering. By the way, this is like a no-name 93 octane. It's a well, I say no-name. It's Bucky's down here in Texas, which is normally pretty decent fuel. So I'm gonna save this log and. do a validation hit and then we will wrap this up what do you say let's go for another ride
get away with that. I can let you go. 